Hi, I'm Mike Harlan, manager of the Airstream division at Airstream in South Florida and North Trail RV. The experience with Airstream is quite a bit further than most dealers are going to be able to give a client. The uh, experience that I bring to Airstream in South Florida has been a top 10 Airstream dealer. Um, I've been part of Airstream's innovative process of developing new product, invited as a team member from a dealer base to come in and help develop new products. So why buy an Airstream, the iconic American brand? Everybody wants to see it. Everyone wants to be in it. Everyone wants to be a part of that. Uh, they want the best of the best. When you, when you look at an Airstream, you're thinking of iconic American brands, Harley Davidson, John Deere, and Airstream. They're all in the same conversation. You, you can't get a higher quality product a longer lasting product, 70% still on the road since 1931. That doesn't count what's behind Uncle Jed's barn that's been sitting out there that needs redone. That's what dons a current license plate and is able to go down the road today. The uh, founder of Airstream, his name is Wally Bynum. And Wally Bynum, he, he was a seaman. He spent his life after college on boats. He went to Stanford. And after college, he, he spent time out at sea and he loved the outdoors. When he got married, he wanted his wife, Stella, to enjoy the outdoors with him. So he, he, started, he started developing this kind of trailer. It didn't look like so much like this trailer today, but it looked more like a teardrop trailer at the time. He had a partner at the time named Bolus, and Bolus was a failed aircraft designer. He tried to make some type of travel trailer, sort of like this Airstream design that you see today because it, it kind of looks like uh, the cockpit of a, of a small aircraft and, and there's a lot of reasons for that. They'll never get away from it. The love of the outdoors is what, what made Wally Bynum start building Airstream trailers and when he first started, his neighbors loved what they saw, what they were doing. So he got a hold of a magazine, you may have heard of it, called Popular Mechanics. Well, Popular Mechanics commissioned him to uh, give these directions. They published his directions on how to build uh, your own camper. And he, he took that one step further. People started coming to him with these magazines and said, we would like you to build it for us. So he started, he started building them. And you know, at that time he started naming them nautical names. So like the first one was a clipper. And you had the land yacht. The land yacht was a long running name from Airstream. You know, the, the history of Airstream started then. He started in California. And until 1951, that was the only production facility just outside of Los Angeles in Salinas, California, was the only production facility for Airstream in the world. Well, in 1951, uh, he, he, he brokered a deal with the U.S. government on, on, a, on a closed down bazooka plant from the, from the war. The, the rumor is he got it for a dollar from the U.S. government because it was vacant, there was nobody that wanted it, it was ran down. Well, he turned it into the, the Midwest, if you will, or the eastern side of Airstream. And then they, they had this battle. What was a better built Airstream? Was it a California built Airstream? Was it an Ohio built Airstream? Uh, but in 1951, they opened Jackson Center, Ohio, in that, in that defunct bazooka wartime facility. And now it still exists. Uh, now the Airstream vans that come partially built from Mercedes-Benz, that is what's built in there today. And the Research and Development Center is in that same building. They've since built a facility across the street and they've expanded it four or five times. And now there are multiple hundreds of employees there building Airstream today because of the resurgence of Airstream. Everybody thinks, oh, they're building Airstreams again. They never quit building Airstreams. Since 1931, Airstream is the only still standing RV manufacturer from the 30s. Notice that the entire shell is streamlined. Missile engineers refer to this as a monocoque design. Both the jetliner and an Airstream get their strength from the combination of load-bearing aluminum and the monocoque design. The, the building of an Airstream is, is quite unique. They build the outside shell first. Uh, they put the windows in first. 
and they build this cone of a, of a trailer. So you have the outside of the trailer and the an interior shell after that. And each one of those shells are put together without caulking, without glue. Those things are all riveted together. The outside skin of this trailer, which, which has over 3,000 rivets in it, these are all put in by hand. It's called buck riveting, and, and it takes two people to put in one rivet. There's a person on the outside pushing the rivet, and there's a guy on the inside receding, seating that, that rivet. So they pick that, that outside shell up, and they set it on the frame. Then they take and get the door. Just to make one door for an Airstream is eight hours of production time. The next step of that building process goes to a hurricane booth. It goes into this booth where they create high winds and they shoot water from like 200 directions at this, at this airstream trying to look for a leak. So you know they have auditors, they have quality auditors and, and, and quality assurance auditors to an insulation process and wiring process. Every light in every airstream trailer today is LED lighting. It's cooler, it doesn't use much uh, energy, it leaves less of a footprint in our environment. Everything in an Airstream is handmade. The furniture's all handmade. The, air the aircraft style cabinetry is all made by hand. Every piece of this handcrafted furniture comes through that door. It is built to last for generations. Most Airstream trailers are gonna give you 20% better fuel mileage. They're also gonna be about seven to eight degrees cooler. Well, let's talk about Airstream of South Florida for a minute. Airstream South Florida is a division of, of North Trail RV. North Trail RV this year is celebrating a pretty big anniversary. It's our 30th anniversary. Airstream as a company wants their name out there in front of everybody. You know, we're very proud of the name of Airstream South Florida. We're also very proud of North Trail RV in our 30th year. We're huge for a reason. You, you look at Airstream of South Florida, part of North Trail, over a hundred service bays out there. Anybody can sell a trailer. Anybody under the sun can sell a trailer, but can they take care of you next week? Is it a dealership that has two service bays or is it a dealership that has 102 service bays? Is it a dealership that has to wait three to five weeks on a part or is it a dealership that's big enough to have that part in stock? You know, at, at Airstream of South Florida and North Trail RV, we've got over a million dollars in parts. Our focus isn't on today. Our focus isn't on selling that trailer today and waving by at the taillights going away. We want you back. We want you back for your service. We want you back to, to buy accessories. We wanna be here for you. We wanna be that dealer for you. The Earp family has got a big tradition of a culture that is centered around the consumer.